Right. Uh, I am ready, sir. If uh, the participants are uh, okay, then sir, I'm not, uh, your audio is very low. Okay. And uh, I don't see a video icon here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, here, uh, video is some technical issue. Okay, I couldn't able to unlock my camera. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay. Uh, so let let it continue here like this, sir. Right. Can you give me the tip. The parts of the event of the session will start in another two, three minutes. I welcome all, all of you to the fourth day virtual gathering. Ma'am, one, uh, ma one second. One second. One second. He has some technical issues at this point. Madam, sir, are you able to hear me now? Yeah, I can hear. 
Sir, can you able to hear? Yes, I am able to hear you. Yeah, sir, you can, yeah, go ahead, sir, yes. Sir. Uh, uh, a video is not required, sir? No, no, video is not required, okay. So it's unable to uh, open here, okay. So it may can't be done at the moment. You can continue, sir, okay, no problem. Go ahead. Okay, uh, Ashwini, ma'am? Yes, sir. Ah, uh, yes, sir, you can start. Yeah. Innovation is the ability to see change as an opportunity, not a threat. With this note, good evening to one and all present, I take this opportunity to welcome Dr. Chenraj Roychen, Chairman, Jain Group of Institutions, Dr. Shri, sorry, Sri Ravindra Bandari, Vice President, Dr. Navin Kumar, CM, Principal, Jain College. I welcome all the participants for the day four virtual gathering of the Faculty Development Program on changing dynamic dimensions of IPR in India and intellectual deliberation. I welcome the resource person for today, Mr. Nagarjun MG. He is currently working as a project associate at Karnataka State Council for Science and Technology, IAC campus, Bengaluru. Sir has completed his graduation in mechanical stream from KS Institute of Technology, Bengaluru and postgraduate from Siddha Ganga Institute of Technology, Tumkur. In the stream of manufacturing, science, and engineering, Sir has also worked in his profile such as graduate apprentice trainees at Bemel Limited, Kolar Goldfields, Quality Engineering at Safa Safari Designs Private Limited, and also has paper publications in both national and international journals. Sir has delivered lectures in FDP workshops on IPR and biofuel. He has also worked as a mentor in bio engine energy research and demonstration centers in 30 districts established by Karnataka State Bioenergy Development Board. He has also coordinated projects like biofuel, 
किचन गार्डन डेवलपमेंट इन चामराजनगर डिस्ट्रिक्ट ग्लाइजरॉल प्रोजेक्ट ऑफ एन आर एन डी आर आई एंड मैनी मोर नाउ सर एज बीन असाइन टू कॉर्डिनेट द के एस सी एस टी पेटेंट इंफॉर्मेशन सेंटर एंड टेक्नोलॉजी फॉर इनोवेशन सपोर्ट सेंटर एंड सर इज ऑल्सो कॉर्डिनेटिंग ऑन अदर प्रोजेक्ट एंड प्रोग्राम पेटेंट इंफॉर्मेशन सेंटर आई वेलकम यू सर for this virtual knowledge sharing platform now i request sir to take over the session yeah thank you madam uh, thank you for inviting me uh, just let me place my ppt on the screen yeah, i hope you can able to see the ppt right ah uh, yes i can see that now yeah yes okay so from i think past two days you have been uh, uh, given a lot of information related to this intellectual property rights and also its various tools so in this particular session we will deal with uh, one of the important parameter that is patents okay and uh, little more information regarding how this patent helps in the academic research and so that it also uh, gives a tool uh, to become an entrepreneur or to make some incubators okay so some kind of product development that can be done at the uh, institution level so that it can uh, take like lab to lab uh, lab to land or uh, some kind of product development okay so in all these criteria how this uh, intellectual property rights or the patents uh, make an important aspect so you may be knowing that there are a lot of uh, ideas okay so if we want to generate an intellectual property maybe it's a patent or design trademark whatever it may be okay so there may be in the lot of forms right like idea many ideas will be there for us uh, uh, for a, any problems the concepts uh, some of the concepts and to finding a solutions the innovation or the invention may be come out okay uh, and also with the market okay so what kind of uh, market research that we are doing or what are the products that we may go deal Uh, in the uh, market scenario okay so all these criteria may required to come up with some kind of invention so that it may lead to uh, some kind of innovation uh, so that uh, after having this kind of ideas or a solution to a problem okay so what could be the next step to protect the idea okay so this will be in this in this through special okay for all this uh, patent trademark and everything now come to particularly with the patent okay so patent is an exclusive right granted uh, to particularly or it is a right to exclude others to prevent making using or offering or selling an invention okay so if you have an idea okay if you have, if you are come up with some kind of invention if you want to protect it okay so that other people may do not copy the invention the right kind of tool that we have is the patent okay so a patent must be new novel and it should be industrial applicable okay so this is the important criteria for the patentability according to section 21 of patent act says that if the invention is new novel and it has the capable of industrial application then it can be registered under patents okay so we have uh, just observe this particular slide okay so here if you see uh, can you find any uh, uh similarity uh, in the particular picture any some answers do you find any similarity in the particular picture see we have about six products here okay maybe uh, a tea uh, looking like a tea pot okay so for each and particular product okay so uh, do you find any similarity or they are uh, very different from uh, each other any yes or no answers will they are different from each other yes or no no they are not different then how you oh, why uh, then how you look at this particular product sir see the application of this product is similar that is it may be used for tea serving or the water serving okay so but if you see particularly with the article okay so each having a different kind of a shape right okay so you could identify here even though it is from the same product but there is some kind of uniqueness in each and every product right so that's how a novelty should be there okay so even if you are working in a similar areas okay there may be some kind of uniqueness in your research or the project okay so now 
you know that okay so patent is given for a product or a process maybe uh, if a product can go for a patent or the process of making a particular product can go for patent process it's the two methods so in this uh, particular uh, cases like say we have a existing uh, a subject matter of patent like what kind of, because everything may not go into patent criteria okay so there are some of limitations for patent uh, and non limitations also okay so in this uh, under section 3 and 4 of patent act we have a detailed information regarding what kind of subject may undergo to the patents okay so for example if you take this uh, under section 3a says that an invention which is frivolous or which uh, is obvious or contradictory to the well established laws is not under patent okay so it cannot go for patent for example if you take a perpetual mission okay so which can rotate in, uh, itself okay so for uh, you can see in this picture right so because it is already exist in the nature okay so you are not reinventing the hello sir okay, yes madam sir nagarjun sir yeah yeah uh, please uh, they are asking to be a bit louder okay fine madam yes thank you sir yes. Yeah, you can able to hear right now. Uh, can I go ahead? Yes. Okay. Okay. So if you see here, uh, these are uh, the existing laws in the nature. Okay. So you are not reinventing the wheel here. So that's why these kind of inventions, which are already available in the nature, okay, so cannot go for any kind of patent protection. Okay. So now uh, we have a lot of uh, things. uh like in the patent subject matter like contradictory to the public laws or any morality which may cause a serious injurious to plant and animal health okay so which are um, preferable uh, which are against the environment okay so are not under the patent subject criteria uh, a mere discovery of a scientific principle or a formulation or abstract theory okay so most of the chemistry uh, uh, if you take chemistry especially okay so there have we have lot of standard formulation uh, chemical formulations and all okay so just mere changing a, a simple formula cannot go for patent protection okay so because it has to be uh, satisfy three criteria that is novelty non obviousness and is industrial application okay these three criteria uh, must and should to match for patent to be granted okay so further we have that is a new use of a known substance because this we will do a lot of a lot of people uh, do this particular thing. for example if you take uh, we can see uh, in the automobile especially okay so for example for physically handicapped people a two wheeler can be converted easily into three wheeler okay so maybe you have seen in the uh, road uh, i mean uh, this is uh, seen in the public okay so many uh, just this change uh, they attach two more wheels okay so of course that is an innovation okay but uh, since it has already have a prior art okay so that's why this cannot go for patent protection okay there may be a simple change okay and another a substance claimed by mere admixture resulting in aggregation of properties okay so uh, this kind of subject cannot go for patent so we have one more thing uh, uh, in okay. this particular case we have a lot of traditional knowledge we have okay so since india is uh, uh, i mean uh, we have a lot of uh, traditional knowledge uh, in this particular especially you may be heard the neem and turmeric case okay, where uh, a patent has been granted for uh, turmeric uh, uh, a person from uh, abroad he claimed that he had developed some kind of uh, ointment or something okay so where he has used turmeric as a uh, molecule in that okay so they they got a patent for that okay but india objects that suppose example if you take if uh, the turmeric has been uh, uh, given a patent then what could be if it is registered in india okay so what could be the damage that may it may cause or else for uh, to use turmeric also we need to get a permission from the particular person okay so this the indian uh, patent office has uh, given a notice okay so uh, they found a simple prior art okay so in 19 Uh, 50s or something. Okay, a newspaper article was published. Okay, saying that this turmeric was using as a medicine.
medicine traditional medicine to heal uh, when uh, uh, for the umbilical cord okay so when the baby was delivered okay so to cut that particular umbilical cord they are using this turmeric as a antibacterial agent okay so this paper publication was uh, taken as a reference and uh, the patent given granted in upward has been rejected because uh, later on uh, the claims which they have given was rejected uh, saying that it is already available and because of this a lot of uh, uh, cases okay so like khani trip case okay so a lot of things are there where the biological sources or the traditional knowledge of india has been exploited okay the people are taking advantage uh, and doing a patent on all this so that's why the government okay the uh, patent has developed a new thing that is traditional knowledge digital library where all the traditional knowledges of india has been uh, tabulated in one column where uh, it can be searched prior art can be done okay so if it is any related to bio biology or biotechnology okay so they will check here if it is not available here then uh, you may have a chance of getting a patent and also for biology patents you need to get nba permission it is national biology biodiversity permission also it is required to uh, get a invention which is related to biological invention okay so and also a method of agriculture and horticulture okay so are not a patent subject matter the equipment that you develop for this particular agriculture systems may undergo for patent okay but the method cannot given a patent uh, as it is okay so suppose if you take if you for you i mean uh, a lot of farmers are doing uh, agriculture okay so if some farmer got a ownership on a particular method then what could be the result that may cause uh, or that may cause damage in agriculture sector right okay so that's why uh, this system uh, i mean the methods of agriculture is not considered for patent but rather the equipment that you develop for this particular agriculture system may undergo for patent okay and in similar way uh, the uh, the dramatic uh, works or, or uh, the uh, the style of dance that you perform okay so all these not considered under a patentable subject matter okay so maybe uh, the uh, style of art or the dancing thing whatever it may be okay so that can go for uh, some kind of other ip too maybe copyright or some other thing okay but cannot be considered under this particular patent subject matter right okay so a mere administer rearrangement of duplication of known devices here if we you can see here an umbrella is attached with the top of course it's a new innovative product right but at this a simple aggregation has been done uh, okay with uh, as a person with having a similar knowledge or uh, a, a, a just a common sense sometimes okay so he can develop this particular thing okay so that's why this kind of innovations which are not considered uh, for patentable subject matter and section 4 of patent act says that uh, anything which related to the atomic energy okay failing uh, cannot go for patent protection. because since uh, with the interest of national security okay so this uh, innovation or the research that can be done uh, in this particular sector okay cannot go for patent production it may uh, the government uh, the patent office may take call on this particular action okay now uh, suppose if you have uh, these are some of the important uh, uh, subject areas where whether your invention can go for patent or not okay so for this particular thing basically what we need to do is we need to do a simple prior art search okay so that's called as a prior art search where uh, you can search the existing literature or the existing research which are already taken place in the particular direction of your research work okay so in the public domain uh, based upon some techniques okay so that's called the prior art search technique okay that may be performed by the respective uh, patent agents or the person who can know as a minimum basics about that they can do that okay so basically it with the google patents okay wipo patent database so all these are the some of the databases where people can check whether their area of interest have any kind of relevance patent in that particular domain or not right okay so now after coming back to this uh okay so i am back right okay so especially uh, for a patent application uh, you need to provide a certain uh, particular document okay or uh, it should have contain specific particular uh, nomenclature for example you need to provide your name bibliography okay the area of research the description of work okay and you need to claim what exactly that uh, you are claiming 
being imitated or what exactly you are uh, you are uh, i mean claiming the particular painting okay so uh, under uh, these are some of the main things that can be uh, that are there in the patent application okay that's it. your bibliography details the abstract the description of the project okay the claims okay uh, and then uh, the drawing uh, if some project or some research uh, have some kind of a project uh, drawing uh, it can be included okay and a detailed application is prepared okay so and then it should be submitted to the uh, controller okay so maybe knowing that uh, we have patent offices of chennai delhi uh, five patent offices are there kolkata mumbai okay so uh, maybe it, it depends upon the jurisdiction uh, where uh, your uh, jurisdiction comes for example uh, bangalore uh, the southern india especially all the applications need to go to chennai okay so like that uh, different jurisdictions are there so people can approach that particular so when especially come to the academic persons okay so the main focus uh, of particular academic research okay uh, maybe of publication right yes sir no then anyone say what is the main objective of a professor uh, for uh, before filing a patent or uh, what, what may be what could be in his mind whether he could he would go for patent or he, he would go for publication uh, you may write your answers in the chat box yes sir i will read out uh, the answers I can see, madam. If people write here, oh, I can see the chat. Okay, no okay. problem. Yes. 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 Okay. Uh, sir, can you please repeat the question? Yeah. So, what is the main objective of a faculty in a uh, research, especially whether he will go for a patent or he will go for uh, a publication? Uh, sir, I think so. We will go for publication. Yes. Most faculties willing to go for publication because they may have. Uh, some kind of uh, pressure from the management saying that you need to publish this this much of papers all those things okay so uh, almost but uh, what the current uh, section or at the current junction what we could see here i mean uh, since kcsc and uh, some other uh, organizations are given lot of awareness especially in the engineering colleges okay so uh, from past three years we have been given lot of awareness programs like this okay uh, now um, we see that a lot of faculties are approaching KCSC for filing patents, okay? And uh, uh, they require some kind of assistance in patent file, okay? So maybe, uh, I'm not sure that now at present junction, all the faculties are looking at the publication, some almost, I believe at least 20% of the faculty, okay, which we are come across or we are in touch, okay? Now they are looking at the innovations that may go for patent file, okay? So they are at uh, making some kind of or uh, generating some kind of revenue out of uh, their innovation. Okay, so that's what uh, the current junction. Okay, so here and uh, but in in the beginning initially, uh, then then there we require a lot of there are a lot of procedures uh, for patent filing. Okay, so we need to uh, and patent drafting is another art where it required a lot of practice. Okay, so that's why we have a lot of uh, uh, firms agencies. Okay. So they may guide in particular writing skills. Okay. So when come to the faculties, okay. So even we we receive a lot of uh, first examination requests here, right? So they just file the application, but uh, the, uh, once the reply comes to them, uh, okay. So there may be a lot of trouble in replying that particular patent application. Okay. So uh, and one of the important thing I should refer here is. The most sir? first objection to the sir? patent. Yes, madam. Sir, just a minute. Sir, can you please sit uh, closer to the device? Uh, again, it's become a little low. Your voice is a little low. Voice is a little low. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So I am using a microphone only. Okay. Oh, so but it is a little low. It's still a little low. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Fine, madam. Uh, now it's okay, I think. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay. Yeah. See, a uh, uh, lot of FTFs that we reply in our office. Okay. So the first objection for the faculty, especially, was their publication itself. Because into the, for example, if you take uh, one of the professor from uh, Davangere, he had filed a patent application. Okay. In 2016, he had filed. 
we got a uh, fpr reply in 2018 okay uh, where the first objection was was for him was his paper publication in 2015 where he has published his article in a uh, reputed journal okay so the patent office says that it is already in the public domain hence your i mean hence uh, the patent may not be granted for this particular application okay so again uh, he he we need to redraft that particular thing and there are a lot of uh, uh, i mean exercise to be done for that particular that kind of particular application okay if it is within uh, one year or within six months of time maybe some kind of some time some exceptions may be given for that particular application or otherwise it may reject due to because of the paper publications okay so it's just an advice to all the faculty is that so if you found that your invention is a novel then it is advisable to go for patent first then uh, you can uh, uh, go for a publication so once you just file the application that's more than enough okay so that you can take a next call on publishing your application right so now when come to the uh, particular patent filing process okay so first it must be the idea that you are coming up okay so once you have uh, in a different research or maybe you go for a product or process anything okay so you need to draft the patent applications we have uh, forms called the form 1 form 2 form 3 form 5 uh, okay so this is the basic forms that we need to submit in the beginning to the patent office okay so once uh, these are forms which contains uh, the same bibliography everything and the abstract of the inventions everything needs to be filled in this particular forms okay you may be filed through an attorney or you can take a help of an agent or you can take a help of a, any firms or you yourself individually can also file this particular application okay so once you file this forms okay so then it will uh, maybe th there is a two method of filing okay so because uh, once you are not sure about the invention okay what could be maybe the results so here for a reservation what you file you can file a provisional application that means it contains only a simple abstract a small description uh, of your invention where it doesn't contains any claims okay so you just file the application on reserve basis okay for example if you have the complete details about a project and it is very innovative then what you can do is you can file a complete application okay so like uh, what i said forms like form 1 2 3 5 okay so all these forms uh, put together you can file online or offline application okay so once it uh, uh, once it uh, suppose if you write a provisional application again you have one year of time okay so within uh, 11 months or uh, within 11 months you need to reply with the complete applications to the patent office okay so otherwise uh, the application may got abandoned okay so once you have complete application if you submit this particular application to the patent office uh, basically it go for a review okay so the uh, controller will take a look on that particular thing okay so based upon the uh, uh, like uh, there, there may be series okay so maybe it takes about 6 months or 3 months or 4 months okay so where uh, or maybe one year uh, you will get a reply to that particular application okay so and also you need to file a request for examination application to the controller so once you file the, this particular reply for uh, examination Uh, the controller uh, examine the particular application they check the formality and also they check the patentability subject matter like however the uh, the uh, terms and conditions that is it should have new novel and it should be industrially applicable these three criteria will be examined by the controller and he will also quote the following references okay so saying that uh, uh, whether it is already published okay so already some kind of prior art which are available to this particular application it has been tabulated and it an examination notice that is called as a fpr reply will be sent to you okay so once you receive this particular examination okay so these three criteria should be matched maybe because uh, many times uh, the industrial application column will be yes okay but the novelty and the inventive step uh, may not be uh, good in the lot of applications okay so here uh, maybe you can rewrite and you can convince the controller saying these are the parameters that are required for this uh, novelty and the inventive and steps okay so then again you need to uh, reply compile and reply back to the controller so once uh, the response to examination has been filed again it go for uh, the evaluation with the controller okay so there may be sometimes hearing may be called okay or sometimes uh, with the just on a submission of your responses may be accepted by the controller then if accepted then it will uh, 
published okay so before that so once you file the complete application okay so it will be going the publication okay so in that circumstances if anybody have any kind of objections for a patent okay so they may uh, go for uh, an objecting to grant this particular patent okay so now uh, when it is compiled uh, all the details once you have uh, uh, the response is agreed by the controller then obviously the patent is granted okay so if it is not accepted obviously it got to refused okay so this is the a, a process which has been uh, in the uh, current junction uh, of uh, patent file so now uh, now if you see the particular types okay so of course you have the patent and uh, uh, what if your patent doesn't give any kind of return then what could be the uh, use use of just filing a patent right okay so of course for faculty or for the academic persons it is required for nac because earlier only patent filing gives some kind of a mark but now a patent grant is accepted uh, to give some kind of a number uh, for uh, uh, some the acp ranking or net ranking something okay so now patent grant is, is must and should okay and also a uh, lot of uh, Uh, ip cells also should be there in uh, each and every university okay some kind of ip should be generated okay these are some of the uh, i mean management i mean act requirement uh, in this particular intellectual property space okay so now if you take uh, whether if you don't have any kind of intellectual property i mean uh, you are not using any kind of uh, ip properties okay so then what could be uh, because this intellectual property is fat you know that right okay so the things all the people are need to get some kind of returns or some kind of uh, money okay so then how could they can go ahead with the uh, existing technology okay so or to whom they should approach so these are all matters in this particular intellectual property if you take a patent you know that it patents valid for 20 years and the granting period is 2 to 3 years okay for copyrights maybe within 2 to 3 months uh, it will be granted and uh, especially uh, i mean uh, the lifetime is a uh, lifetime of uh, the term is lifetime of the plus 60 years for designs it's about 15 years and trade secrets uh, there is nothing like that okay so for geographical indications uh, every uh, 10 years uh, it can be renewed okay for trademarks also it is it can be renewed okay so this is the term or this is the period that you have to generate some kind of revenue out of your intellectual property okay so now now come to this particular uh, statistics here okay so if you see the statistics in the indian patent office uh, the gradually the intellectual property filing okay so take uh, the natural okay individual 5000 to 7000 okay and foreign applications about 1000 6000 okay and the startups 160 to 800 okay so in an average totally 45000 applications to so 50000 applications has been increased okay so can you just guess what could be maybe the reasons for this particular increase in the patent applications can i have some chat answers uh some chat answers saying that what could be the reasons that increase in the number of patent applications in the recent arena okay so about 45 to 50000 about 5000 applications has raised okay in the next uh, 1920 maybe about 60000 applications uh, we don't know okay so what is the reason that a gradually increase in the patent applications is taking place in india and also we can see foreign applications also in india okay because you know that patent is a territorial in nature because means if you file a patent in india you will get only protection in india okay so if you file if you want protection abroad okay so you need to go with the pct route and you can take uh, protection in, in other country okay so uh, which means that you need to go at with the filing with the other country route procedure right okay uh, sir so, they have answered uh, kittu sir has an, uh, answered that because of innovation and invention activities yes, are increased yes. yes exactly exactly okay because lot of innovations has taken okay and also with the covid uh, situation okay so it it gives another directions for developing a new kind of business and marketing strategy okay so that we will discuss later we will come to that also later okay so 
of course a lot of innovations have been taken in the research especially with the uh, uh, i mean uh, even in the phd also uh, earlier okay so i don't know but in the recent advertisements and all we can see that in phd okay all the applications but uh, the technology that has been developed because of this thesis belong to university okay so there are some kind of ip uh, has been, a statement of ip is also written in the uh, phd thesis for the notification also okay so of course that's right because of the innovations there is a lot of increase in the patent applications if you take a statistics okay so the top five indian applicants in patent filing that is tcs wipro chandigarh university chandigarh group of colleges indian institute of technology okay so of course the corporate companies are in the lead because they are, are the uh, masters in doing the global business okay so uh, to them to connect them okay so even the universities also are in need of patent file okay because uh, basically the technology developed by some kind of professor or uh, with the academic one okay they they, they develop the technology they will give uh, to the industries and the in the, uh, the industries will uh, promote the technology or with the needful customers or with the uh, users of the public okay if you see here top indian patent uh, in the scientific research okay especially csir okay sail institute uh, drdo is that ia uh, i mean iac is that okay so aditya birla group there are a lot of, these are the a lot of uh, i mean uh, top research applicants over filing patents okay so once they do the applications what they do okay so if you just visit the uh, this website okay the drdo other thing okay so they do also post the, their patents in the public domain okay so whichever uh, the interested company uh, are uh, interested in their technology they will go and they will do some kind of ip business okay so that's that okay so this is how it takes and if you see the top academicians okay so iit chandigarh university and srm institute of technology okay so these are some of the universities which are in lead in filing the patent applications okay so maybe uh, in the coming days a uh, lot of other uh, universities also will be taken very lead in this particular filing we do okay so if you see this particular graph these are the top 10 applicants who, who are in the uh, filing tct national case that means foreign applications are being filed in india okay so if you take usa has a lot of uh, patent applications in india okay Let, later on we can see japan china okay germany we have so what is the main theme or what is the background or, or what is the interest that these applications that is the foreign countries are looking a patent protection in india so can you uh, uh, say a few answers i mean a few chat answers like what is the interest of other countries to file a patent application in india it may be a different area like uh, the biomedical or uh, uh medicine okay the automobile industry the lot of patent uh, patent applications that's also we can see okay yes can i have some chat answers what could be the reasons for other uh, foreign patents to be filed in india yes all planning to protect their own creativity inventions uniqueness and research outcomes exactly correct of course if you want they want to protect they can protect their uh, in their country itself why uh, they need to file in india what is the benefit out of it see all because see for example if you take an automobile invention okay so today i design a new car okay so the the car may be uh, can be replicated in other countries because uh, you should understand this because the patent is territorial in nature if you protect in one country it can be only given in one country okay i mean the production is lies at only one country okay so if you want a business strategy with a protected module then you need to go ahead with the uh, pct application that is you need to go with the foreign applications and you also protect your invention in those countries and you can establish your industry okay so that's how the people the corporate sectors invest in this particular patents and they will uh, come here uh, to uh, uh, invest and also to make products and to provide to the public okay so we can see some of the case studies in related to this also okay yeah so respect please make provisions for interactions between the resource person and participants 
Yeah, we can do that, sir. We can do that. Okay. So just uh, let me complete uh, half portion of this particular thing, and uh, we can take uh, questions. Okay. Yeah. So if you see this particular uh, most innovative companies, okay. So Microsoft, Apple, IBM. Okay. So all these uh, companies, okay, Qualcomm. Okay. So they are lead in uh, this patented uh, technology. I mean, uh, what are the pro the products that they produce? Okay. So it has already. I mean, they will protect everything, and uh, that's the strategy how they do. Okay. If you take a little survey here, Alphabet, uh, the company has about uh, 2,000 or uh, two to 3,000 patents. Okay. So LG Electronics, they have about 4,000 patents. Okay. Falcom, 2,000. Okay. So each patent application which they provide, uh, they will protect and they do business with this particular technology. Okay. And uh, uh, in the corporate sector, the IBM has a lot of uh, patents on this. Okay, so there are about 9,000 patents that have been filed with the particular uh, uh, IP. Okay, so I mean, you know that, see this, so after protecting or getting, generating an intellectual property right, you need to uh, do or you need to have a strategy of doing a business. Otherwise, uh, there is uh, nothing can be generated. So there is no, uh, I mean, the patents may go used, right? Okay, so here, the most important uh, for a company or organization in this particular patent production to get a competitive advantage, I mean, to do the business, okay, to get a market advantage. And obviously, uh, if you have an uh, intellectual property, you can sell, license, or transfer, and also there will be a valuation of money. Okay? So these are the important uh, areas where an intellectual property is imported for a company for, or an organization uh, to develop this particular thing. Okay. Yes. There are a lot of, uh, okay. So there are a lot of uh, IP commercialization factors. Okay. So once you have an intellectual property, there may, there could be some kind of uh, uh, object or some factors need to be considered doing this particular patent because patent is a costly process. I, I mean, compared to all the patents filing, okay. So this patent filing is a little bit costier. If you take uh, with the government fees itself, trademarks about 5,000, copyrights about 2,000 or 500 rupees. Or, uh, uh, and uh, uh, if you take this patent, about 25 to 30,000 is the government fees itself for patent filing. Okay. So if you want one patent to file, you may require about 30,000 uh, fees, uh, uh, government fees to be uh, filed. Okay. So whether it is worth investing me for patent, uh, about 30,000, which uh, I couldn't be able to make any kind of IP returns in this particular technology, then uh, what could be the use? Okay. So in this connection, uh, some important factors to be considered. Firstly, who owns the IP? For example, if you take uh, the university itself, see, I'm the author or I'm the faculty, I have developed a technology and if I file a patent, whether I should have complete rights on that particular application or the employer who provides me the job, that is the university, is the owner of this particular application okay so this is the uh, confusion or uh, it is to be clarified between the inventor or the university okay that means who has a complete right on the particular IP and you may be knowing that especially with the uh, uh, employee and employer relations okay so if you produce any kind of things okay you may be given some kind of royalty okay so suppose what could be the royalty okay and monetary impacts like this like the same okay so if i produce a technology what could be the returns that i may get from this particular technology okay next ip rights maybe part partial rights or full rights given to you or not okay and type of ip technology what is the technology that you are doing this particular uh, ip generation okay certifications which means uh, whether the filed ip has granted a patent or not okay and what could be the rights that this particular patent have okay so commercial life of ip and uh, which means that obviously we know that there may be durations because once after 20 years, the patent may come into public domain, anybody can use, right? So in the similar way, so within that span of time, you need to consider that particular time and you need to strategize your idea to be uh, going to the public domain and you need to generate some kind of revenue, okay? So as it for future development, like with the existing patent system itself, like how you can generate uh, more and more uh, patentable products or or the status that you may develop for protecting uh, this particular technology. Okay, obviously the market 
place uh, see the customer needs okay this is very very important uh, you need to work with the customer benefit uh, or customer needs otherwise uh, i mean many i mean uh, maybe this is a practical thing okay lot of faculties are doing the research which uh, or with the faculty interest right? not with the public interest okay the public may require some other kind of technology or other kind of product but the research which we are doing uh, in the academic research uh, more uh, it's very different okay mostly about 20 to 25% the research that we do or is directly app applicable to the rural or uh, to the customer i mean uh, to the public domain rest of the inventions are with our own interest where we generate some kind of thing maybe it couldn't uh, be able to help with a lot of uh, if you take a simple mechanical uh, technology a lot of composite materials are there in the public okay so where uh, the applications we don't know uh, like only a few materials have taken a place in the global market especially the smart materials okay the uh, advanced metallurgical uh, um, in the metallurgy lot of a lot of materials happen okay so only if you have taken a good advantage with the existing market especially with the aerospace okay so rest of the composite materials that we do develop in the lab okay so or in the lab itself right okay so if you have an idea to generate some kind of ip you are also uh, early itself you need to think of uh, getting some kind of uh, connection in with the industry so that your technology that you develop has a line of connection to the industry so that after production of the particular product it can go for uh, some kind of economical benefits to you okay so and our other things is suppose if somebody has infringed that is infringement means you know that if somebody copy my invention or somebody do some kind of uh, uh, illegal activity without my permission then it can go it is called as an infringement okay so if some kind of infringement policies has been taken what could be the actions that may i to require or i to take care in this particular ip protection okay so these are some of the factors need to be considered okay so now uh, there are some systematic uh, system are there okay like uh, this is a general standard uh, policy okay so this is uh, i mean the strategy of commercialization is different okay so however you need uh, you you can take it up okay but uh, in in line with the studies or in line with the ip regime there are some uh, start standard definitions are there okay so the first and foremost ip commercialization standard definition is that you can give an assignment okay as a faculty what we do we do give lot of uh, assignments to students where right? okay so here the faculty is assigning and the student is the assigner okay so in return student what will submit the assignment to us and the complete authority about that particular assignment is with us that is to provide marks uh, whether to fail the student to pass the student everything at a faculty control right okay so but in this particular patient uh, up the assignment okay the owner which means the faculty doesn't have uh, rights once he assign this particular application to somebody because he him he, uh, he himself i mean he will in return get lot of money okay so which means this assignment suppose if you have a patient you assign to some uh, x group okay or some company you will in return get a lot of uh, money or cash flow okay where you doesn't need not to take further responsibility over the patient okay because it is already assigned the assignee will take care of everything okay so that's how uh, here the person who assigns the ip okay is called as assigner the person who takes the ip is called as assigner okay so this is one of the system of doing ip commercialization and the next mode is called as the ip uh, licensing okay so licensing in the sense uh, it is where you transfer an agreement or uh, you transfer an intellectual property okay so to the third party with having some terms and conditions here. that means okay so the person who provide this particular uh, agreement uh, or the uh, technology is called as a licensee Okay, license, sir. And the person who takes this particular license is called a license. For example, if you compare this particular uh, to a rental agreement itself, okay. So the person with the, the you provide, I mean, the person who provide your house, the owner, okay. So where he provide to leave a particular house with some terms and conditions, like you should not break this, and this is the water bill, some some kind of uh, blah blah and everything, okay. So where in return you need to pay a rent monthly. Okay, so like that, you will rent this particular IP to some particular company. Okay, 
So here, uh, in some conditions, we may call that cross licensing here, which means, okay, both the companies, for example, there are two groups are there here, a company A and company B. Both companies have IPs, okay? So this, they transfer, interchange their IPs. There is no money transfer here, but they do transfer their intellectual property. That is, A gives one IP to B and B gives one IP to B. So this is called a cross licensing. They, they pledge their IPs to do the business, okay? So this is how uh, it takes. And uh, here also we have a lot of uh, basic definitions. That is exclusive license, which means suppose if you give a product or a product, I mean, for the technology for some kind of amount, okay, for some amount, the person who takes this particular IP is uh, only uh, is the only person to use that particular. Even the person who sells this uh, application, I mean, the uh, technology is not entitled to use this one because he has given exclusive rights to the particular person, okay. And he should uh, only can produce or reproduce this particular technology. Okay. And another that is sole licensing. Sole licensing means, okay, uh, a, a in person, okay, both the licensee and licensee can do uh, the business here. Okay. Non exclusive licensing we have, which means that uh, a person, uh, once you assign the particular license to somebody, uh, they may do not have a lot of regulations. Both are negotiable, which means both can do other, they can also sub license this particular uh, uh, technology to other also. Okay. And uh, some of the terms that they use in this particular that is time limit, okay, so evaluation, okay, and no terms and conditions. Uh, it depends upon the persons to person or the groups to groups or the companies to companies with how they do the business with the existing intellectual property rights. Okay. Few case studies also we will see in the future. Okay. So, if you take the another uh, good example of commercialization, how we can do it, that is joint venturesship and partnership. Okay, so if you take partnership, a lot of people will say that, uh, I mean, if you do a partnership, the business, uh, uh, I mean, uh, it doesn't have gone to that uh, much range. I mean, uh, there may be a lot of failures in this particular partnerships. Okay, so here in the IP partnerships, the people work on the intellectual property. Okay, and they will see how this intellectual property can benefit both together and both the companies or organizations take a risk on the intellectual property rights. Okay, they may be given some kind of a funds, okay, some kind of uh, technology agreements, okay, they may incubate some people to do this uh, uh, partnership. Okay. So it depends upon the companies to take how uh, they will uh, do in general. Okay, so another a system of IP commercialization that uh, in the practice that is called as a spin off. Okay, especially this is with the university. Okay, so which means you create uh, a separate entity or separate output for the technology that you developed or a patent fit. Okay, so which take care of all of uh, this particular uh, activity. For example, if you take, uh, for example, uh, if you just compare with the startup and the spin off technology, the spin off, okay, it is created by a university. Okay, so like the Jain University, they develop some kind of a technology and they own the technology. Through that particular technology, they will start a startup. Okay, so from the startup, they will do the business. Okay, so like that, you will just entering into one more venture. Okay, as an academic research, you are jumping into an entrepreneur uh, activity. Okay? Through that, you are uh, doing a lot of uh, business activity. Okay, so you are developing your own kind of market. Okay, and uh, strategies to uh, get uh, revenue from kind of this. Okay, so it is created by university. Okay, and it, the startup may be created by the outside the university, obviously. The technology is always owned by the university here. It may be licensed or startup by the university. Okay, the financier, obviously, the university is the financier. Uh, in the startups, if you take anybody can fund, okay, depend upon the joint venture or some kind of uh, alternate that they do. Okay, so these are some of the strategies that uh, are the main major uh, goals that are there in the domain of uh, IP commercialization. Okay, so now. Uh, we will have some kind of uh, key terminologies that may be used in the intellectual property or general also because these are some of the words which we should take care uh, in our day-to-day -day activities also for example in our uh, uh, job applications or in our interviews okay in our uh, what we call the appointment letters okay so these are some of the terminologies which we should have a take care so that it may lead to some kind of legal notices in the future okay so for example if you take grant of rights what is meant by grant of rights that is what authority that you have with a particular existing technology maybe maybe exclusive license you have or non-exclusive 
so on what what are the uh, rights that you need to have uh, for a particular business also right to sub license suppose if you uh, have taken a right over a particular technology whether you should have any right to sell it or to use uh, for yourself or you have so that kind of rights you need to identify obviously the duration okay so many, many contract jobs given given for only one year okay so that contract duration will be observed okay so you need to take a note on that also confidentiality this is very very important uh, in the uh, area of uh, any area of your work okay so because if you take a research especially with the faculties if you just go on publishing your research the other foreigners okay or uh, i mean because generally we do a literature survey in the literature survey we found a problem we found a problem we find solution also to that okay but later on we publish the solution that solution may be utilized with some other person so that he makes an intellectual property out of it okay so uh, there, there are a lot of uh, cases are there. i mean a lot of uh, incidents are there where the uh, uh, existing technology okay i mean uh, the existing uh, i mean applications of uh, india had been extracted by the foreigners and they do uh, have generated lot of ips also okay so i forgot one of these to be sorry uh, okay let, let if, if i get remember i'll just discuss it okay fine and the limitations okay so what are the limitations that you have uh, in your uh, area that is geographical scope where is uh, what are the limitations everything you should know compensation like suppose if you have been damaged with some kind of uh technology or uh, you have been damaged with some kind of alternate then what could be the compensation that you get from out of it so it should be that okay that you should calculate or the efforts that you put for your research okay day and night you will uh, study sit hard everything and some research has been taken care by okay this, this is a simple example in uh, iis itself uh, one of the faculty from chemist uh, not faculty one of the student okay uh, he is a inter student from chemistry he was developing some kind of a chemical formulation here okay so but uh, the same uh, the formulation everything what he has developed here it was as it is okay it was uh, i mean it's a coincidence maybe okay the same thing has been uh, you while he was going to patent the same uh, application okay the same technology he found that the same results have been taken already in the japan uh, one application from the japan one person from the japan he had already worked on the same thing and he got the same results now the efforts has been put this by this particular uh, uh, indian applicant okay so had gone lost okay this we need to publish the paper and uh, you need to uh, sit quiet that's all okay it has happened here so whether uh, while go before going for research itself if you could he could do some kind of patent subject uh, literature survey or prior art okay he may be knowing that whether this is already available then at least he could have think in doing uh, another uh, research okay or selecting some other research also okay so this will happens and ownership and improvements okay obviously this is very much needed because once you file a patent okay so obviously you will become the author okay the university become the owner of your application okay uh, so uh, in this also you need to be clear that is that's why we in the ip self that we establish in our kpsc uh, through with the other universities also we will uh, prefer to have an ip policy where uh, the ip cells i mean the colleges should have an ip policy where they will give some kind of written to the inventor that is about 20 30 or 70 30 okay in one of the college which we uh, has been set up ip cell they had given 90 10 okay means 90 for the inventor uh, suppose if some kind of ip returns come 90 to the inventor and 10 to the management so this how they do uh, the strategy okay and warranty obviously like uh, what is the term i mean uh, term that i should be here and what is the quality of this particular technology okay everything should be considered and you should be aware of this particular terminologies okay yes now now come to uh, the business strategies what are the business strategies that we have uh, to Uh, with our intellectual property rights okay so this is called as an innovation radar with this uh, we simply say that okay so here uh, we have lot of uh, areas to be discussed okay so because the most uh, thing is that your research or your area of uh, a particular ex expertise it should attract the needy customer otherwise the research uh, that may not have a good effect on us okay so if you take this particular uh, companies that is amazon sandhya sachi 
okay netflix jio uber tata see all uh, these particular companies have taken a simple technology and they are doing a lot of business in this particular sector see amazon what is there in amazon okay so you just uh, type or you do give some orders in amazon you will get they are just a mediators or you can say as a facilitators okay they just uh, take the company's order i mean uh, they do register the companies okay customers as we are the customer we place some order they will communicate to the respective industries or the stores okay through that they will deliver the product so this is how they do even the paytm okay and all the way the sabya sachi i mean uh, you I mean a lot of fa lady faculties will know because it's a standard uh, uh, company for uh, uh, some kind of cosmetics i believe okay now they are ventured into food uh, food uh, uh, business that is okay shoe business also i mean which have a very uh, good attractive design footwear that they have okay so they have collaborated with uh, some kind of uh, uh, footwear designers and they are doing the business okay and the zomato you know that okay netflix just aggregation of all uh, tv shows with one particular uh, uh, company and maybe you observe uh, in the particular domain okay the netflix the amazon prime and the sunnex or sun tv or other areas say only few pictures has been taken by some company uh, or some uh, uh, tv channel that is uh, whatever the pictures that you see in the netflix may not be available in the amazon prime because uh this is a strategy that they do the business okay so that's how and the tcs okay and the uber now uh, come to this particular slide okay so if you see here what you see here tickets right yeah now okay so uh, just assume uh, okay just assume this is the uh, normal cricket that we do play in the our day to day life okay so many times we do quarrel with the umpire or with the other batsman or other the I mean, player saying that if we got a i mean a wicket a catch out okay so many times we do quarrel because even though it is tipped to the bat okay the ball hit to the bat and the person take catch but we do object that it doesn't hit the bat itself okay in sometimes lbw we won't accept okay even if we touch the wicket also we won't accept so for this particular this is the problem okay so for this problem this is the solution we have right okay so in the ipl uh, in 2013 okay the ipl starts okay uh, if you see that particular ipl we have this particular uh, wickets okay so uh, can you say anybody say what is the cost of these wickets that is led wickets what is the cost what is the cost of this wickets no google uh, on spot answers i need just just uh, a few words i mean a uh, few uh, few numbers that you got in terms of lakhs exactly lakhs. correct yes exactly correct sir in terms of lakhs only okay yeah kituro rs uh, sir says it's uh, lakhs okay so this is called as zing wicket system okay so this system i mean Uh, this has been come in 2013 uh, uh, ipl matches okay where this particular is bronte this is a person from australia he was a footballer basically okay so he saw because sometimes even if the wicket touched the ball okay but uh, the umpire decision may go wrong what could be if it is a world cup match okay so many times earlier we we, we were uh, uh, i mean uh, we were thinking that the umpire had gone Uh, with the other uh, 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 sector, okay. So this is how uh, the especially the Bront uh, the Bronte what he did, he developed a zinc wicket system that is an LED based wicket system which can blink. Okay, if it touches a particular uh, the ball touches the wicket, it blink so that people can observe. Okay, and the decision may take very easily. This is a solution for a problem in a cricket system. Okay. so this person is from australia but he filed patent application in india why my question is why why you filed a patent application in india yes you will see that application also okay so this is the technology okay so this is the application if you see okay now 
this is the patent application of Bronte. Okay, so he filed in India. What is the main reason that he he filed the patent application in India? Yes. Samartha, please. So what is the use that he, he, he was he filed a patent application in India in 2012 he filed a patent application okay but still it is under the process of so it is not granted yeah so why miss mr Bronte has filed a patent application in India this was my question because he already filed a patent application in Australia in 2011 okay he filed in 2011 where he grant a patent application there Okay, so after filing the patent application, he filed the same patent application in India in 2012. Because of reason of conflicts, conflicts, okay. Okay, so I didn't get the exact answer. Fine, I'll, I'll go with it. See, India is, I mean, we we do love cricket law. And we have a good uh, some, someone has uh, uh, unmuted their mic. I request to kindly mute. <laughs> yeah, okay, fine. See, here, see, this particular application has been filed in India because we have a lot of population and we do love cricket. There are a lot of cricket matches happening. Okay, so once he filed this application, he got uh, reservation for this particular uh, wicket system. And the IPL matches has been uh, taken, especially with the Bangladesh matches. Okay, so they started a pilot match with this particular wicket system, and people got attracted for this. And now uh, the match. Okay, so if you want to purchase this particular wickets, twenty-five lakhs is the cost of this wickets. One set. Okay, so so for one match, about fifty lakhs is the amount for this particular wicket system. Okay, so means fifty lakhs has been given to Bronte now for each match. Just imagine how much, uh, uh, I mean, uh, how much revenue has been generated with this particular technology. A simple technology that uh, the Bronte developed and he do business and uh, he uh, filed in India so that if, if suppose somebody needs with the same technology, uh, they may not get this particular technology. Okay, I mean, uh, I mean, because it's already there because uh, reservation is already given to Bronte. Okay, even though if you develop some new alternate LED. Uh, some kind of new technology in this particular system may be accepted okay uh, still uh, the patent application is not granted in india it is still in the uh, process of process of examination okay so we don't know what will take place but uh, anyhow uh, the reservation is already given to him because he already have an abroad patent and also is filed in india so that now the people cannot copy this particular technology and the other companies also do not do this business okay so this is how uh, it takes now if you take uber Uber, I mean, Ola Uber or similar, uh, which gives a lot of, uh, especially in India, they will give uh, transport, I mean, they, give, they will give a lot of uh, uh, jobs in transportation sectors and also helps transportation sector to, to go one to one places. Okay. So here we have a patent acquisition system. That means if you are not able to produce any patents, just go and buy uh, some of the existing patents which are there and just make use of it and do the business. Okay, so this is how the Uber do the business. That's called a strategy called patient acquisition strategy. They uh, uh, acquire, I mean, they purchase uh, with a negotiable uh, terms and technologies that uh, what they have. Okay, so these are the statistics. I mean, they access about 88 patents from uh, uh, artificial intelligence. Okay, Google. Okay, so th this is how the companies they do not develop any new IPs, but rather they go for acquisition and do the business strategy okay so this is one of one of the example another example a simple example where i i mean uh, the patent how if you do not have a uh, patent in a territory how you can develop uh, this particular technology i mean uh, you can use for a business strategy here if you see this particular um, shoe this is a piezoelectric shoe which has been developed and patent filed by new us company okay so here this shoe, uh, Mr. Motua, he's a person from Kenya. Okay, so this was this application was in the U.S. country. Okay, it is not there in the Kenya. So what he did, he just observed that particular application. He started doing this particular shoe in his country. Okay, 
where American, I mean, uh, the company cannot claim that this is my patent and you, know, you do not do because they have not filed a patent application in Kenya. Okay, that's why we can do the business here until where the patent, I mean, uh, the Kenya, I mean, uh, the US patent files the patent application here. Okay, so like this, you develop, suppose if you do not able to provide any kind of uh, technology, just go and acquire some kind of patented technology or because you may, you may be seeing that patent lasts after 20 years, just look out the uh, absoluted the patents, okay? You just pick up one or, one or two because patent, in the patent, you will give the entire details, okay? You disclose everything in a patent application, okay? You can make that particular uh, into a business format, okay? So many cases are there. This is one of the, uh, an example uh, related to that, okay? And obviously you should have a business model, okay? Where you need to identify your customers and the market, especially the area where you work, it should be that. Okay, so and another example, uh, you can take the live example and uh, especially with the food uh, serving, okay, I mean Zomata, if you take this particular ID Fresh Food, okay, uh, you know this particular uh, ID company, okay, uh, Mr. Mustafa uh, is a CEO of this particular uh, company and he started just with only one mix mixture, I mean uh, one mixy, one grinder with uh, about uh, 10 to 20 kgs of batter that they are doing business in earlier days, okay? When they were uh, started this particular business, okay, they were just doing a batter business, what are uh, making a batter and just selling to care market or somewhere uh, near uh, with this, uh, their uh, domain areas, okay? So uh, how this IT fresh food has developed or ventured into a lot of uh, uh, cap uh, capabilities, if you see, okay? So this is startup based on food industries, okay? So with the pandemic, okay, especially with the COVID pandemic, all have been become work from home. Okay, maybe it's working for home or work from home. Okay, so these are two consequences that that has happened in this particular COVID situation. So here in the COVID time, okay, this uh, ID Foods uh, company had developed more innovative products, and uh, they are uh, filed a lot of uh, trademarks, patent, okay, which intense gives a lot of uh, business strategies to develop uh, the company okay so here if you see the especially with the id food uh, i mean uh, now if you see uh, we have a liquid co coffee that has been in the market that is id uh, liquid coffee okay so here if you observe the saying of uh, i mean the albert einstein in the midst of every crisis lies a great opportunity okay as in this COVID situation, they come up with more lot of innovative ideas and they, uh, I mean, uh, the business is uh, very much uh, appreciable. If you take two fundings has been taken here, okay, about 350 crore investment has been taken in the ID push pet, okay, and uh, the uh, intellectual properties uh, of this particular uh, ID push food uh, has been taken by Banana Council, okay, so they are the leading firm, uh, intellectual they are taken with a particular application and now the Azim Premji uh, has taken I mean uh, has invested about 350 crores I believe okay so recently they had invested that is uh, in 2020 okay May in the truth they have invested a lot of uh, uh, investment in this uh, it's and another important uh, information here is that is the ID fresh food especially if you take the patent one patent number 2016 in 2016 they have filed a patent okay so, so what for a simple uh, nib that is uh, for what are making equipment they had filed a patent okay then it is has been granted to them okay so here uh, now it is very demand for other uh, uh, food business organizations also because now because they have already had a patent in this and now they cannot copy this and make uh, some kind of vada batter mix like this okay so because many vada batters are there but no vada batters has been uh, in the design of this particular ID fresh. If you observe, you can you maybe know, notice that particular. Okay, so this is how the patent uh, application, uh, I mean the protection, uh, take care of a business uh, in all the ventures. Okay, so you may be knowing that uh, the national IPR policy it has given a lot of uh, uh, inputs and insights in developing the IP regime in India, uh, and also with the help of uh, the organizations like KPSC and uh, NRDC and even with the private firms also a lot of awareness has been given in the public domain 
and with all this hopefully the increase in the patent applications we can see here and also uh, especially for the faculties okay so it is advisable to them uh, before going to patent publication please go with the patent production process I mean, that is if you patent then you will prosper okay so uh, this is how it may take okay uh, i'll just conclude here uh, if at all if you have any kind of uh, uh, doubt related to patents or uh, anything uh, you're open to questions now thank you thank you for providing this opportunity so thank you so much. Uh, it was a wonderful session. Uh, and the knowledge what we got today was like, it was really amazing. And the, the process, the procedure, the, the knowledge what you shared was really amazing. So now I request uh, the participants to uh, send their Q&A in the chat box. Yes, yes ma'am. Thank you. Yes, ma thank you. Yes, ma Especially for the faculties, uh, see, this is uh, the patent uh, filing process, okay? So, initially, uh, uh, how, whether your uh, project, I mean, uh, your uh, uh, technology or the research area that you are doing uh, is eligible for patent filing or not, KCST will help you uh, in assisting that. Uh, we have, I mean, the cell here, we do a preliminary patent uh, research, okay? So, that may be of uh, free consultancy, we do not charge for that, okay? You can submit your abstracts and you can uh, request for uh, prior order so that we will provide uh, based upon our ability okay and uh, uh, with the, our domain experts we will do give some consent regarding whether your application may be eligible for a patent or not okay so uh, this is can be done uh, through the uh, patent information okay yeah so if any questions are there uh, we can take it up Your participants? Any questions? Okay, sir, I think so. Uh, you are very clear and uh, they have understood well. Uh, now I request uh, Professor Aparna Patil to deliver a vote of thanks. Yeah, thank you, much. Good evening to all. Good evening to all. I yes, think it's very, yeah, I, am I audible, Shutima? Sorry. To yes, ma'am. Yes, yes. Thank you, Shutima. Good evening to all. I deem it a great honor and privilege to propose vote of thanks to those who have directly and indirectly contributed to this webinar. I would like to express my gratitude to Chief Patron. Dr. Chendraj Roychan, Chairman Jain Group of Institutions, for his constant support and encouragement. I extend my heartfelt thanks to Sri Ravindra Bhandari, Vice President, Jain Group of Institutions, for his enthusiastic support. I extend my gratitude to Mr. Nagarjun MG, resource person of today's session, for having spent his valuable time with us. Thank you, sir, for inspiring and encouraging us with the informative talk. I would like to thank our beloved principal, Dr. Naveen Kumar CM, for providing moral support and guidance to make the webinar successful. I also thank all the participants for their patience listening and being a part of this webinar in making it a grand success. Finally, I thank the organizing committee, teaching and non-teaching staff for their constant support. Thank you, one and all. Thank you, Apanama. Uh, we have shared the feedback link in the chat box. So I request all the participants to fill the feedback link. And tomorrow also, we are going to have the technical session at four. Thank you so much. Thank you all. And thank you, Nagarjun, sir. Thank you very uh, thank much. Thank you, madam. Thank you for providing me an opportunity. Yes. Uh, on behalf of uh, KCSC, we thank uh, Jain College uh, to providing such platform to the audience. Okay. And also, I thank all the uh, audience for their patience uh, hearing and also to credit that they have addressed the session. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Anatol. Yes. Yeah, thank you so much, sir. Thank you.